How can I find the y-intercept of a graph or table and explain what it means in context? The y-intercept, right? So we talk about proportional relationships where we have like y equals mx. Well, in here we're going to kind of add on another part to that. Um, so say I have this table of coordinates. I have this graph. The y-intercept is where the linear... Um, the line, the linear equation, crosses the y-axis. So here's the y-axis. Here's where it crosses. The coordinates for this are 0, comma, 3. I have an x value of 0 and a y value of 3. This is your y-intercept. You're looking for an x value of 0. When x is equal to 0, what is y? That's your y-intercept. So if I'm looking at a chart, I want to say, what's my x value when that's 0? What's my y value? Don't get confused with the x-intercept, which is when y is equal to 0. That's not the right one. So I, this is intentionally to be a little confusing, just to make sure you know it's when x is 0. That's your y-intercept when it crosses the y-axis. There we go. All right. So here are some lines. All of these lines are parallel, they're all the same slope, but there's slight differences to them, and the difference is their y-intercept. This black line is the kind of like proportional relationship we've been looking at where you have y equals x, or y equals 1x. And then this red line is where you have y equals x plus 2. And notice the difference. The y-intercept isn't 0, it's 1, 2. So when x is 0, instead of y also equaling 0, when x is 0, you add 2, and so y is equal to 2, so it's 0, 2. On the purple line, when x is 0, you subtract 3, so 0 minus 3 is negative 3, so your y-intercept is 0, negative 3. This is in a form that we call y equals mx, where m is the slope, plus b, where b is the y-intercept. This is the easiest form to graph linear equations in. Um, when you have them like this, it's much easier to graph them because you can just say my y-intercept's negative 3, your slope's in front of the x, so you go to the y-intercept, you count your slope, rise over run, and you put a second point and draw a line between them. All right. So just note that, yeah, the b portion here, the added part or subtracted part, is your y-intercept, and it also basically is just shifting the line up and down the y-axis. What, is this, what does the y-intercept exactly mean, though, within context, right? I want you to be able to explain it in context. So if I'm making money over days, right, and my y-intercept is here at 20, and then it go, my amount of money goes up over the course of days, the what does the y-intercept mean here? Well, what that means is very simply that at zero days, I started, I had $20, so I started with $20. That's what the y-intercept means, that you started with that amount. Um, and that's it. So how can I find the y-intercept of a graph or a table and explain what it means in 